Hello friends, I'm back with a very delicious Indian dessert recipe fit for summers. It's my mom's santri ki kheer. For this we need 1 cup of peeled and de-seeded sweet mandarin oranges. Next I skin and cut the oranges into pith and membrane free segments. Make sure to clean them well and try to keep the segments whole as much as possible because they do break up when we are making the sauce. You can use any oranges that are divided into segments for this. Next, I grate the zest of two navel oranges and keep them aside for later. You need a fine grater for this, a box grater or a peeler will not work. Juice the same navel oranges to fill 3 fourths of a cup. The oranges should not be sour as they can split the milk later. You can use any oranges that can be juiced and are sweet in taste. To make orange sauce in a pan, I add the orange juice, orange segments, one tablespoon of semolina, and three tablespoons of sugar. Mix it well and cook it until it has reduced to a thick sauce-like consistency. When it's done, keep it aside to cool down to room temperature. Meanwhile, heat 5 cups of whole milk until it has reduced to 2 third of the original amount. When it's done, add 1 4 teaspoon of cardamom powder and 1 third cup of condensed milk to it. Mix it well and then keep it aside to cool down too. When both the sauce and the milk are at the room temperature, slowly add the sauce to milk while constantly stirring the milk. The chances of milk splitting reduces to a minimum when the milk and sauce are at room temperature, although you can do it when both of them are hot. Now I put it back on the flame to thicken it up. I also add blanched and sliced nuts to it and saffron strands soaked in milk too. When it reaches the consistency I desire, I turn off the stove and transfer it to a bowl. I 
I cover it with cling wrap, touching the wrap to the surface of key so that no thick layer forms on the top. And then I keep it in the refrigerator to chill for 5 to 6 hours at least. I make this kheer with varying consistencies. This time I went with the thinner version, but the thicker version tastes equally good. It just requires a few more minutes of cooking on the stuff top. When it's time to serve this delicacy, garnish it with some orange zest. Some orange peels that are completely optional and some saffron strands. The rich and creamy flavor of milk in contrast with the citrusy oranges gives this kheer a beautiful and unique taste. Try it and I'm sure you will love it too. Thank you for watching my videos and please like and subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.